I mean, sure, the Nautilus may be old, but she's got plenty of potential. She could easily outpace any other cargo ship in the fleet. At least three times faster! Found the poor bastard blathering his woes at a tavern in Folka. The seat next to his happened to be conveniently open, so I took it. Without so much as asking my name, he launched into story after story. It was clear he still needed to vent. Apparently, he just recently started his career as an engineer, planned on restoring the Nautilus. It would revitalize the local economy, help Folka this, assist Tim Peel that. He went on and on, but I knew he wasn't going to feel better until he confronted the actual issue at hand. Don't get me wrong, I think it's great you want to help your home like this, but that's not the real reason you're upset, is it? That obvious, huh? I, uh, made a promise to my friends. One day we'd fly our beloved Nautilus across the skies together. But the ship in question was long past its heyday and had deteriorated beyond the point of conventional repair. Time is a cruel but patient mistress and among the original Nautilites, only Kent had yet to accept reality. After he finished his explanation, silence fell between us. Well, until another man frantically stumbled into the tavern. I'd seen him somewhere before. Oh yeah, one of the naysayers from earlier, the merchant. Somebody help! Anybody! Monsters are ransacking my precious cargo! I was torn. Do my civil duty as a skyfarer and save the cargo, or help this ass determined to crush the dreams of my newfound friend. So, I asked Kent. What? Uh, of course you should help him! Not a moment's hesitation from the kid. I like that. This would have been the perfect moment to ensure the continued survival of the Nautilus, at least in the short term. But despite that, Kent didn't think twice about helping his fellow man. Hell yeah, Kent. I'll see what I can do. Damn. Can't we take some R&R &R instead? According to the merchant, our destination should be around here. I just hope there's anything left to save. Let's get moving. Go time! Goblins? What the hell are they doing here? That all? Rain hell on them! Come on! Bring it! Have at I'll say we didn't warn you. Fire! That all? Enchanted land! Fire! Meet your red! Get behind my shield! Come on! Bring in the quick! <laughs> Time. Not bad, if I say so myself. Now then, we're well. Spring it! Play the eyes! That must be the cargo we're looking for. Cargo's safe and sound. Maybe. Looks like it's been rummaged through. Watch out, Rackham! We've got goblins and wyverns on our trail! Don't say more than that to do bust. Heads up, people! Hot enough for ya? Things are about to get dicey. Just don't let them get close to the cargo. Like this? It's go time! Take that! There's no more of them! Stay sharp, everybody! 
Showtime! Don't let up! Got a bullet for ya! Enough of you! Ah, don't let up! No. Bring it! Bring it! Go fire! Upsy Daisy! Let's go! It's go time! You reap what you sow! Oh, you're in for it! Ah, trigger finger is itching! Watch out! Go time! How about no? Come on! Ever tasted lead? Come on! Rain hell on! So the big shot finally decided to show up, huh? Well, you're going down like the rest of them. Hot enough for ya? Where's the core? There's a little pain. Too hot to Bring it! Don't let up! Take that! Play the eye! Go top! You monsters screwed up big time today, because you chose to mess with the best crew to ever cross these skies. It's go time! Ha! Another one bites the dust. Oh! Oh, you're a lifesaver. How could I ever thank you? You want to thank someone, thank him. I gestured toward Kent, the man's face filled with shame as the irony dawned on him. So it was you, huh? Hey, uh, hey, listen. I'm sorry about earlier. I could have heard you out. After the merchant left, I wanted to focus on the next goal at hand. Putting some wind back in the Nautilus's sails. So I proceeded to do some intelligent and, dare I say, brilliant thinking on the topic when Kent asked what I was talking about. Whoops. Must have been thinking out loud again. You just wait and see. <laughs>